take you to the last wildernesses and show you the planet and its wildlife as you have never seen them before. It's one animal that I don't need to sneak up on. Boo! This extraordinary creature is half blind and this is just about as fast as it can move. That's what's going to happen to you if you live on nothing but leaves. It's not exactly an enthusiastic leaf eater. A couple of half-hearted chews and the leaves go straight down to its stomach. This is the worst mistake of its life. The calls of the Siamang gibbons begin as a duet between the dominant male and female. The calls can carry over a mile and their message is clear. This is our territory, keep out. The rest of their family soon join in and it results in a frenzy of activity. Farther down still, the queen lies in her own chamber. The workers must constantly clean her and feed her with food from their own crops. Her partner, with whom she founded the colony maybe 20 years ago, is still with her. Some insects benefit from doing the opposite of collaborating. They kill one another. The community is so harmonious that it's hard to believe that this place is also the setting for mass murder. Because if one bee attacks you, it releases a pheromone, a chemical signal which is detected by the others. And within seconds, there will be hundreds, indeed probably thousands of them, all around you, launching a mass attack and stinging you. Today, even the smallest of animals are struggling to survive here. One of those that have managed to do so is the tiniest of all known lemurs. Oh, tiny, tiny. Tiny, tiny. Just only 30 gram body weight. Yeah. Smallest primate Smallest in the world. Smallest primate in the world. This male in front of me, after years of political maneuvering and a good deal of muscle, has become alpha male. The Alpha male has recruited many allies. This security team allows the Alpha to concentrate on the privileges of his position. Despite the apparent chaos of bodies, there is order in the ranks. After checking, the coast is clear. This time is spent grooming and confirming the bond between pack members. Banded mongooses are among the most social of animals in Africa. To keep in touch, geladas have become the chattiest of all monkeys. The gossipy banter can sound to scientists like sentences with words or even names for each other. There are gangs of young males trying to steal away the women from the family harems. Each handful of females is guarded by a single male, the harem master. The spare boys try and tempt the girls away, hoping the resident father figure doesn't notice. The males flash teeth at each other. It's usually just showing off in case the girls are watching. This is the biggest of all living reptiles and one of the most feared. If one creature were to be labeled a cold-blooded killer, it would be this. And what can rival the train of a peacock? The costume put on specially for courtship dances by the African widow bird is as extravagant and unwieldy as those of the pheasants. And if you've got it, why not flaunt it? He's impressive enough when he's going about his normal business, but when she is around, he gets very excited indeed. Impressive though he is, she is very critical. He's not good enough, it seems. The male monal pheasant impresses his female with a greater expanse of unbroken iridescence than is possessed by any other species. Our planet is still full of wonders. 
as we explore them so we gain not only understanding but power. We can now destroy or we can cherish. The choice is ours.